Hey everybody, today I want to take a look at the possibility of maybe someone making some Hobbit figures of the Rankin and Bass 1977 film. So stick around. <laughs> Welcome back. So anybody who grew up in my generation, which was back in the 70s and the 80s, grew up with Rankin and Bass. And kids from the 1960s grew up with them as well. They were very um, influential on us in a lot of ways. Um, we grew up watching their holiday specials every year. They were as important to my generation as Walt Disney, Steven Spielberg, or George Lucas. They are the creators most known for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer that plays every year on TV since it first aired back in, I believe, in 1964. And the show is so popular that it's amazing that there were no action figures made upon the actual release, or even by the 1970s, at least some kind of action figures of Rudolph, at least, because the special was so popular. But in the early 2000s, a company called Playing Mantis produced some figures and they later changed their name to memory lane and then later went defunct and out of business unfortunately but they made some really cool figures and they treated rudolph like hasbro treats the star wars figures with like every character that you don't even know exists they make a figure of it and here is <laughs> yes it's elvira in with the rudolph characters um this is my collection this is what i put up around christmas time um, yeah, they made some really cool figures, as you see here, and there's a lot of other things that they made, a lot of other characters. I mean, any little character that you see in Rudolph, down to the Eskimos, they get blown away in their little igloo and all of that. They made everything that you can think of. You know, all of the characters, there's even a castle that was actually with the smaller figurines, but if you wanted to make a Christmas scene, you could actually sit it up and kind of use it as a backdrop for these figures as well. I mean, they actually even made Santa Claus's sleigh. And I'm showing you this for a reason because I have always wanted figures to the 1977 Hobbit film. And I'm actually surprised that no one has ever made them. So I'm just kind of showing you guys these Rudolph figures to give you an idea of what I'll later be talking about in the video. But first, I kind of want to go over some of the Rankin and Bass figures that have been made. So I just wanted to show you these Rudolph figures that I have to give you an idea of the possibilities of an action figure line for Rankin and Bass's 1977, The Hobbit. So yeah, these are the figures that I have. Take a look at them. And again, like I said, there was actually even a Santa Claus sleigh. It was huge. And it came with all of the reindeer including Rudolph. It was amazing. And they actually made figures to Santa Claus is coming to town. And they made the Fred Astaire mailman slash narrator right here. He came with this little winterized mail truck and they would sell them in boxes or packages. And there's the Mickey Rooney Santa and the Burgermeister. And of course, one of Rankin and Bass's coolest vi villains, the Winter Warlock right here was a very cool action figure and then of course later he turns into winter when he turns good and then NECA my favorite toy company made the year without a Santa Claus and they jumped all over that I mean they made everything that you can think of and of course they went with the heat miser and the snow miser which are probably two of the biggest most popular cult figures of the Rankin and Bass films yeah, they even made, like, plush ones. NECA did. NECA did all of this. They made all of these cool Year Without a Santa Claus figures and small figurines, much like the Playing Mantis Memory Lane did. I'm not sure if it was a financial success, but can you imagine NECA doing The Hobbit? I think they could do a great job with The Hobbit if they ever got the license. Also, there were even Frosty the Snowman, a few figurines from, I believe, Memory Lane. I think by that point it was Memory Lane when they created those Frosty figurines in a box set. And I can't remember who did the Frosty's Winter Wonderland, but a company also made those. And Diamond Select did some 
awesome Here Comes Peter Cottontail figures. They did about five of them. They did Peter Cottontail and four other characters. They even did the Vincent Price villain Iron Tail, the evil rabbit that's the adversary of Peter Cottontail. You can still find these figures on eBay. And in 1977, Rankin and Bass gave us something like they had never given us before. They adapted J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit into a television 90-minute film, and it was fantastic. It's still one of the best animated features of the 1970s. It's in the top three, probably. And I'm surprised that no one ever made action figures to this as well. There was a read-along record released by Disneyland Records, but there were no action figures released. But Rankin and Bass never had toys made of their shows anyways, which is very surprising. The Hobbit is very adult. I mean, you see people wounded in war. There's, you know, things implied that were not really implied in any of their other specials. It's much more adult. And maybe that's why there were no toys to The Hobbit. There was actually a board game, too. I forgot to mention that. But I wish NECA or Diamond Select would give us some Hobbit figures like Bilbo Baggins here. And, of course, we would want Gandalf. You know, you have to have John Huston's Gandalf. Heck, I'd even just take a two-pack of Gandalf and Bilbo together. You know, I'd be fine with that as well. But there are so many other characters like Thorin and the dwarfs. And, of course, you have Elrond and the Elf King and all of the elves themselves. You know, the elf warriors and then, like I said, dwarfs. And then there's Bard, you know, who shoots down Smog at the end of The Hobbit. You know, he would be an awesome figure to have. And then if you're going to have him, you got to have Smog. I mean, look, NECA made a ginormous Balrog demon character from Lord of the Rings. So I think they could handle doing the animated Smog. They could do this. Somebody could do it. It would be so awesome. And then there's the trolls that, you know, try to eat the dwarfs and Bilbo. And they all get away, of course. But they would be cool to have. And then the spiders, you know, we would want the spiders, but definitely Bilbo. And, you know, really, everyone would want Gollum. Let's face it. I mean, I said Gandalf and Bilbo, but everybody would want Gollum, the frog-looking Gollum. And there has been some models made. Surprisingly, I did some research and I found these here. And looking at these, these could be such cool action figures if NECA or Diamond Select would take these on. Diamond Select has actually started producing a lot of figures like the Black Hole and things like Tron from, you know, this period. And I think they could do a great job with it, too. But, you know, I love NECA so much. I would love to see NECA try to do Rankin and Bass as the Hobbit. And seeing these here, like, this is what they should look like. I mean, whoever did these did a fantastic job, but... Clearly, they're not easily available to get this model set. And then if you're going to have those, you want the goblins. You know, the goblins would look awesome. And, you know, they're so cartoony, but still kind of scary looking. And look at this. This is so badass. The same person, I believe, that did the golem and Bilbo did the goblins. And it is awesome. This would be an awesome action figure right here. I mean, hands down, it would be the best. And you got to have the Goblin King, you guys. And yeah, he's not in it very much, but he's extremely memorable. And look at this. This Talk about badass. This is awesome right here. Whoever did this, I want to shake your hand. This is awesome. This is like extremely detailed. And this right here could be a NECA figure. I mean, or Diamond Select. So Hopefully, one day, one of the toy companies will get on this and they'll give us some Hobbit figures, at least a Bilbo and a Gollum and a Gandalf, hopefully one day. I mean, I think that Rankin and Bass deserve some love, some more love. They're the best. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. He's completely mad. Toys in the attic he has. Uh. Completely mad. The greatest adventures is what lies ahead. The road of your life is in your ass. <laughs>